Hi, um, it's Carrie, and I'm continuing my trauma series. The first video was an introduction, and this video is a little bit more about what I've gone through. Um, I'm still reading from my OneNote, and I apologize if I'm not making a lot of camera, but camera contact, but I'm. It's it's easier for me to do it this way, and I apologize, but no. And this part, some people may think is trauma, some people may not. It's regarding my birth and how I came about this world. Um, you're asking my mom and dad, and my dad passed away in 2009, so I can't ask him any more questions. I learned a lot of questions to many questions. <laughs> I learned a lot of answers to many questions. Um, I found out I was planned, but not. My mom planned me. Um, not my dad. My dad told me he wasn't really planning on having kids. My mom was 17 when she got pregnant with me and 18 when she had me. She wanted out of the house. She was not happy. Her home was abusive. And I obviously don't know all the details. I wasn't there. Figured out along the way. Some of the questions I've asked. I know they started dating. My, um, my parents started dating and then she became pregnant with me. I know at one point in time, I'm pretty sure it was before I was conceived that got engaged. And then, um... But once my grandfather found out about me, the marriage happened. <clears throat> so why is this trauma, you ask? Because how would you feel if you were the reason why your mom um, was able to leave home? A teen mom who wasn't ready to be a mom. I mean, I get it, I do. But for the child, I mean, me? I mean, don't get... I am grateful, because otherwise I wouldn't be here, obviously. But, um... Being, I wonder if she actually thought about the full magnitude of being a parent. I know she went through a lot of shit, and she lived at home before I was brought in the world, but having a kid in this way, I mean, in the 70s, that's just how it happened. You either, you, you know, you got married. Um, I just, I don't understand. I really kind of wish that she had gone through it a different way, but because she really wasn't ready to be a parent. And I don't, I'm not mad at her for that. I've gotten over that. I'm just, I wish that she would have done things a little bit differently. Because she wasn't the best mom. Thank you for watching. And the next section will be very shortly.